Hello, I'm Johannes from the OSO team at Nokia. In this series I'm going to be talking to you about the Unity plugin for OSO Player SDK. The OSO Player SDK Unity plugin allows you to create virtual reality 360 degree video applications inside the Unity game development engine. In this video I'm going to tell you what you need to have when you are using our plugin. Before we get started with the VR playback, you need to check your gear. For the start, you need to decide if you target mobile device, desktop or both. For mobile development, you are fine with a computer that can run latest version of the Unity. When installing the Unity engine, make sure you select the Android environment. In addition, you can follow up the instructions for setting up the Android SDK from the Unity website. To be able to run the development version of any app on Gear VR, you will need to generate the Oculus OSIC file for each mobile phone you plan to use. This can be done in the Oculus Developer Sites Tools section. For desktop development, you will need more powerful computer to be able to play back in VR. You need the Windows 8 or 10 to be able to play back the videos. Install appropriate runtimes for HMD you are using. Now you are all set up for PC development. One thing to note, it's to totally possible to create projects that target both mobile and desktop platforms, as our plugin provides the libraries po for both. On macOS and iOS, the Unity VR does not support HMDs on these platforms. That is why we also restrict to single i port. It's possible to modify the rendering with custom projection matrices for cardboard on iOS manually. But if Unity brings the iOS support for their VR interface, the SDK is ready. There is still one more thing to do. Download the Player SDK. You can find the OSO Player SDK downloadable from oso.nokia.com, where you will need to register. Open the zip file and you will see OSO Player SDK Unity plugin zip file inside. That contains both a sample project and a custom plugin package. Extract also that to a folder of your choice. There is also a PDF document describing some of the things I will show in the following videos. Thanks for watching. In the next video we will make a simple VR player and run it on Gear VR.